What's happening, YouTube Averse? It's your boy, Darkularity, and welcome back to another weekly Community Crunch for Ark Survival Evolved. Now, this week we're looking at Community Crunch 363, Rhino Nafa teaser, Evo event, and more. So let's jump right into this bad boy. Welcome to another edition of the Community Crunch. Discover the Rhino Natha, a super-sized creature with a set of unique abilities from producing a quick hardening resin to being capable of carrying large objects around your base. These versatile creatures provide an unparalleled enhancement to your tribe's defense. Now, this thing looks pretty badass, and you know what, I'm not gonna lie about it. It looks huge. So let's have a look at this guy here. It looks bigger than a T-Rex, or at least the same size when compared to. That's insane, I'm super stoked for this thing. It's definitely a lot bigger than I originally thought it was, but I mean, it just, it looks, badass but it also looks majestic it seems it seems weird to me that the, that they're making it so huge like it looks like it's capable of carrying this rex around which i'm super excited about um the ability for it to be able to pick up and relocate things in your base as well as its quick hardening resin so you can shoot it either soft or you can shoot hard pellet form versions of it i think that's pretty cool too i wonder if we're gonna need to require to gather some kind you know I don't like who knows maybe we need to gather like thatch or fiber so we can ball up and make those um those resin spitballs i'm not really sure i'm just i'm just spitballing here myself anyway <laughs> but it's massive i mean look the saddle hat is a two-seater saddle which is i mean pretty awesome too i think we need a lot more creatures that have two-seater saddles and i think t-rex is actually their saddle should be uh two-seaters as well too but it is huge but you know what in all honesty but i am surprised this thing is you know as massive as it is Okay, so let's have a look here at what we were originally shown, the, the original size of the Rhino Natha. This is what we were first presented with in the Community Creature Winner. You can see, I mean, it it's bigger than human, obviously, but not that much bigger, right? I think it'd be compared to maybe the size of a trike, something like that. It's not massive, or, or maybe it's slightly bigger than like the Desmodeus, right? But it's not insanely huge. And then, and then we compare this to the scaled up version, which we have now, which is this guy. And I mean, <laughs> it's definitely bigger. I would say it's probably, it's two times, it's double the size. I mean, it's double the size, but oh, I'm super excited to get one. This thing looks so badass. It looks so good. Guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of uh, of how the Radio on Ath is coming along. Do you like it? Do you think it's too big? could it be bigger i mean it truly is the giga of the skies i am super excited to have a big flyer that it, you know is comparable to the size of a wyvern um you know we all love wyverns but i can tell you that when you get to a certain point like i don't even really try to tame them anymore because i've used them so much that i like to try other things so i am stoked for this so looking back at the community crunch here, uh, they mentioned to check out the Radio Natha dossier for more information on its abilities. We were already presented with that. I don't think they should call this a Radio Natha teaser. They're not really showing us anything new. They're showing us, you know, a drawing. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not an in-game, you know, picture. It's a drawing of the bigger version of the Radio Natha. It's not really a teaser. I mean, call it what it is. Just say you're showing us more concept art of it. Um, I don't know, wild card and the, and the way that they do things sometimes really aggravates me. And it's like this, you know, when I read it, I was super pumped for a teaser. That's not really what we got. We just got another image of it. And I mean, it looks amazing. I am definitely excited for it, but I was hoping for maybe like, I don't know, a small trailer or something. So moving on. So this weekend again, we got Evo event. So that runs until Tuesday, May 30th. Uh, 2X on official servers. Small tribes get four and a half X. I'm just talking experience here. Uh, Arcpocalypse gets 5x and Conquest, you guys are going for 5x HP as well. And that is pretty much this week's Community Crunch. Scrolling through here, I really don't see um, anything else. It looks like the, the Community Crunch changed a little when I, from when I first saw it yesterday afternoon till today. Um, there's a little blurb of it missing here. All right, so here's the bit of the... the uh, bit of the blurb that was missing from the version on steam and i don't know if they removed it or if it was never a part of steam the steam uh, community crunch i remember seeing it yesterday and then when i was going through it today i was like wait a second this section's kind of missing here but i don't remember if i saw it on discord or if it was never on steam so i mean who knows but it's not on there right now so the missing blurb on steam is switch news and announcements they've added small tribe servers small tribe servers are capped at six members per tribe they've increased rates 
And of course they provided a list of the small tribe servers. Also, they're making an announcement that Arc Genesis Part 1 is coming to Nintendo Switch. Here's the first look at Arc Genesis Part 1 on Nintendo Switch with a strangely familiar companion. You must overcome the simulation's rigorous tests. Only by fighting, building, taming, and exploring will you uncover the secrets behind this foreboding place. A release date for Arc Genesis Part 1 on Nintendo Switch is coming next week, so stay tuned to the Nintendo Switch Twitter account. And of course, we got a nice screenshot of a Magmasaur. Looks fantastic. It's going to be interesting to see how people react to uh, Genesis Part 1 on Switch. Genesis Part 1, it's my least favorite map. It's the one I dislike the most. I don't even play on it anymore. Like, I never. I haven't played on it since probably like the year it came out. I'm just, it's, I don't find it very good. It's not very exciting. It, uh, it's broken. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, guys, I guess we'll wrap up this community crunch here just to give you a bit of an update um, on my ARC series. So last Saturday, I released the first video of my ARC series. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Um, drop that video a like, it'd be fantastic. Um, the second video, I'm hoping to come out this following week on Wednesday. I've had a super, super busy week this week, so I haven't had time to um, you know, play games or record videos. I've been finishing up um, my days pretty late and been pretty tired at the end of it so i haven't been able to do much gaming but anyway guys um i'm gonna end this video here if you like it please smash that like button that would be wonderful and uh yeah hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and we will see you next time peace